Hello and welcome to the 21st tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at string streams. String streams allow you to use a string and treat it as a stream, basically allowing you to extract or insert to and from strings in the same way as you can do on console in and console out. This feature is mainly used for converting strings to numbers or converting numbers to strings. For example, if I have a high score, let's say 1200, and it's a number, an integer, but I want to display that to the screen. To display to the screen, you need to use a string stream. You would convert the number to a string stream, then you would display the string stream. Or if you have some sort of on screen text and it says 200, perhaps you want to manipulate. Sorry about that, this is a little notification. Perhaps you want to manipulate that and you need to use the string stream to put a string value into an integer or a float or some sort of number variable. Let's just show you a quick example of how to convert a string to an integer. It is really simple, it's just a few lines of code. First of all, all you need to do is include two headers. One will be the string header and the other one will be the string stream header which is s stream and we're just going to get rid of this for a moment so we're going to do now we need to do std because string belongs to the std namespace i'm going to call it str this variable and we're going to initialize it with the text 658 bear this in mind 658 is not a, not a number in this instance it's a piece of text it's a string so to actually just use it in an integer you need to use string string like so so i'm going to just create a local variable called int i then we're going to do std string stream as string stream belongs to standard name space open bracket and specify the string then we do the greater than greater than basically saying the string value what's on the left will go to the value the variable on the right aka i and now we can just print this out and we'll print out i std in line we get 658 so for example if i want to multiply that by 2 and we get 13 16 but what would happen if we were to multiply str, it would fail because even though that looks like a number, it's not, it's a string. So you have to put it into a number. You could use a float if you wanted to, if that's what you needed. And then you can do your mathematical op operations on it. Operations on it. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we're going to be looking at conditional statements. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube, whatever you feel comfortable with. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.